Brooks and Mercy Hospitals are Springfield's two biggest employers. Today, the two competing hospitals announced they're joining forces to expand children's services for the region. Joe Hickman has more on this first of its kind collaboration. It was an online announcement, long on symbolism, but short on specifics today, as the leaders of Cox and Mercy made public their plans to work together rather than compete when it comes to health care for children. In most things, our systems are going to continue to be fiercely competitive because that competition truly breeds improvement. However, today we're here to talk about making a public commitment to work together to be able to further the pediatric care across our region. Anyone who has dealt with health care services these days knows about the frustration of getting appointments and seeing specialists. And this move comes at a time when the workforce shortage includes doctors as well. The pandemic has turned our entire industry to a focus of collaboration and partnership to be able to solve some big problems. It was evident that we still find gaps in coverage and the ability to serve everyone who needs care. Many of our pediatric patients oftentimes have to travel outside of this region to get that next level of care. The challenge we run into a lot of times with pediatric specialties, if we divide the population between two facilities, there's not enough to have enough doctors for quality of life, call coverage, but also just to support the community if we do redundancies in that. Attracting and maintaining pediatric specialists was about the only specific details mentioned at the news conference, but it was also announced that a still-to-be-determined third-party pediatric business will be a part of this coalition, and another major topic was brought up. There are a lot of details that we still have to work out, but I think part of our vision is this probably will look like, at the, at the boldest end of it, a standalone pediatric children's hospital for this community. A Cox Mercy Children's Hospital would certainly be a significant addition, but when pressed on the matter and asked for a possible timeline, officials pump the brakes. What's important is we're kind of hedging that side of it is because we may find that the right partner for us has a little bit of a different spin on it or it'll take us in a different direction. But I think the bold vision from our coordinated medical staff, and they challenged us to support administratively, is a standalone children's hospital in this community. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman. On December 13th, Cox and Mercy will have a community meeting at Jarrett Middle School where you can ask questions about the new collaboration. The time is still to be determined. We'll let you know.